All right, we got it all sanded smooth. <clears throat> we are ready to take our linseed oil <coughs> and iron oxide. We are ready to you know, get some color on this wood. See if that iron oxide. I was gonna do the one finger technique, but we are into the whole hand. See why I'm wearing a towel to do this so it doesn't get all over my pants. actually looks really good. Darker than it would be with linseed oil. I see people stain these and I just, I want it to look close as original with not being shellac. I know linseed oil does a good job refinishing on this stuff. I have this top section. I just have the metal parts taped off. I don't really think that's necessary because you could just wipe them off after. Do the same kind of deal with this guy.
You don't want it to be streaky, so you rub it a lot, and you don't want like a bunch of excess on here. Actually, take this tape off because it was just so I didn't sand the metal. Just don't want to keep the booing on the metal. Make sure you did. My hands are definitely going to be orange after this. And it'll probably take this a day to dry. Show you it right here in a second as soon as I get this capped up. Important, don't throw any rags or linseed oil stuff balled up. It can start a fire. Uh, you want to make sure you lay it flat and let it dry out. Here's how they look. I'm pretty happy with that. Wait, you know, about 24 hours, see if it dries, decide if I want it darker, or decide if I want to just start going with straight linseed oil after that. Looking really nice. Thanks for watching, guys.